Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at Fleetwood's smallest motorhome that's under 30 feet. That gives you an outside kitchen. This is the all new 2021 Fleetwood Flair model 29M. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this Fleetwood Flair 29M. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good. Hey, everybody, you know we're in Tampa right now. No, they don't know that. Why don't you let them know that? Well, we're in Tampa because we ran out of inventory in Ocala, so we came down here. Hopefully, we'll get some good ones while we're here. Yeah, we got a lot of good stuff going on for the next four or five or six days however long, um, however many episodes we record down here. And Andrea, there's these little bugs. I, he I and, know, I and, see them. Oh, they are so annoying. They're little gnats or something. That's, huh, like the World Series Nationals? <laughs> no. Let's get started. Model is 29M, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet long. This is the Fleetwood Flare. It's their entry-level motorhome. It is the same product as the Holiday Rambler Admiral. It's just they have different badging. What I really love about this floor plan is that it does give you the outside kitchen. And just look at the front windshield and the lights and everything. And, you know, this is a price point motorhome. Come down the side, new for 2020. Though these bugs are everywhere. <laughs> new for 2021, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla engine. Godzilla! 350 horsepower with 468 foot pounds of torque. Look at this, Andrea. Got a little doggy window, and now we have a little doggy Yuna. She's in her second week of dog or intermediate puppy school. Intermediate puppy school. Bing! That's Yuna. You got um your windows right there, and then you do have camera not your windows, your mirrors, and then you do have cameras on your left blinker, right blinker, and reverse. And look at these tires. Oh man, look at these tires, Andre. These are good in your tires. 245-70R19.5. Real, real nice. Matt, I like the blue on here. Yeah, blue looks good. You have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that one all the way out. Wow, look at that, Andrea. Nice power awning it's with big. LED lights. I love that. It's almost the whole size, except yep. up front. Look at these nice, big, frameless windows. You have speakers on the outside. Look at that, a little bit of storage. And you got your inverter there. Yep. Perfect. Battery disconnect. Yep. Right here, Andrea, here's gonna be your propane. We'll have the propane tank sizes, length, widths, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who is watching on television. Now this is one of my favorite features. Look at this. This motorhome wow. has one of the biggest external TVs I've ever seen. And this is gonna be great. And it just works real well with the uh, outside kitchen. Right here's your potable water fill. Potable. 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 Okay, interesting. This swings from the side? Swing. Wow, look at that. Well, technical difficulty folks, but we're showing the kitchen area, the sink, Wow. Look at this pull-out countertop here, Andrea. Got LED lights. Wait, show that again? Yep. Nice. nice. Little, you got a little fridge right here. Furion. Yep. And a microwave on the outside. Wow. A microwave? Yep. Oh, that's just where it's plumbed through and stuff. Okay. Perfect. Coming Speaker. around the back. Look at this, Andrea. I think you got a propane quick connect right there. Oh, yeah. For an outside grill. Coming around the back, you have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. I love that. 5,000 pound hitch. No, 8,000 pound hitch, but this motorhome cannot tow 8,000 pounds. You can safely tow 5,000 pounds, and if you want to tow any more than that, you got to make sure you don't load up your motorhome too much. And you have a backup camera right there. 
Also, Whoa. we have a one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, this is interesting, Matt. Here we go, I ma hope you stretched. Hold on. All right. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see there's not one, but there is two air conditioning units. I love that, especially in a motorhome this small. A lot of times they'll make it 30 amp, but I'm glad that it's 50 amp. Right here, you can see your max air fan covers are already on. There's your wine guard digital antenna and your Wi-Fi Ranger right there. Oh, oh, hold on. I don't like that. Be careful. Okay, remember when you get to the last step. Last step. Oh, yeah. see, there's nothing there. Careful. All right, your foot's. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen will take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Down the side here, here's your city water, black tank flush, right? This is your door for your generator. It's a Cummins Onan 5500 generator. And then right there is your fuel fill up. Finishing up, we got your water Ooh, heater here. Matt, look at the detail. Yes, I love how they continued with the decal. You have an outdoor shower here. Awesome. This is gonna be your wet base station. Sorry, I don't have a key for it. And then over there is more storage. Great. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, <laughs> but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. After you, ma'am. All right. Cargo carrying capacity. 2,703 pounds. Whoa, wow, this is a totally different layout. Yeah, it looks good. Look guys, slide is in, and this is amazing, the walkway here. As you can see, bed is accessible. Yep. And let's see, the bathroom is right here. I mean, this is crazy, look at this. Oh, well, the slide out's out. Oh, it is, duh, oh <laughs> my gosh. Oh, that's funny, I forgot to put the slide out in. So when the slide out comes in, it's gonna come into right about, Walk this way. Let's see it real quick. Well, dang that, but now I gotta turn the dang old engine on. I'm so used to us having the slides in. Right. It was funny, cause I'm like, something doesn't seem yeah, right Yeah, I was here. like, this is way too and big. I couldn't figure it out. Here we go, guys. We're gonna close it for you. Great, and while the slide outs are coming in, <laughs> we have a favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about the flare and okay. the three things you don't like about it. Look at this. It's still pretty good. Yep. I mean, you have this right here. No, it's great. But it's great. It's I mean, great. this, see, this is totally doable and yep. plenty of room, Matt, you go through. Yep. All right. See, look at that. The more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our videos to. And we thank you guys. And we thank each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. I tell you, I tell you. Let's All get right. started. Look at these nice big Fleetwood seats. Absolutely love that. Wow. This is the new steering wheel, okay? Let me turn that down I like a little bit. That. The new 7.3 liter engine. And it's just a tighter steering wheel, a nice drive when you're driving down the road. I love the visibility here. You have everything with the touch of a button. Cup holder. Yep. You got your blinker, left blinker, right blinker in reverse, leveling. and your auto leveling. Andrea, can you sit in my co captain yes, seat? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, wow, you guys. Comfortable seat, huh? Probably one of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat on. Dang. Um, That's a little drawer. Okay. Then you this pull the black well, part yeah, out. This so far up. No, 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 you don't need to do that, but pull but, the black part out. Yeah, so. That's great. Okay, that's a lot better. Yep. That's great. I'm trying to think of the one, I know it used to be a really cheesy one in here. Uh, Plasticky kind of thing that you pulled out. I don't think it was in here. Was it not the flare? Okay, but this is great. And look, you have a little, you can put stuff in here. You got a yep. little cubby. Nick Pack Caddy Wax. Yeah, that's great. Got a cup holder over here, but you know, I gotta tell you, these seats are really comfortable. 
Nice. Got a pedestal table for here. And yes, ma'am. seats do swivel. Uh-huh. And then we do have a bunk over the cab, which, now we turn that off. And now, you know what, Andrea? We were not prepared today. <laughs> um, oh, here it is. I know, they change it every time, right? Over here is the bunk over the cab. It does hold 500 pounds. With a question mark. Well, that's what it's supposed to hold. I don't know what it holds. Yeah. Yeah, it's 500. Yeah, it's 500 pounds. Okay, so yeah, it looks comfortable. Looks mm -hmm. like I got that memory type foam. Like the cubbies up there, guys. Yep. Okay. Check so those shades. We do have MCT privacy shades. Yep, just privacy, not the daytime right. shades. But you know what? I really do like that because um, in this price point of a motorhome, a lot of times they're going to give you the um, cheaper accordion shades. So look at this sofa. I love, love, love this sofa. Again, I, I keep going to keep saying it. Price point motorhome, but this is a very nice higher end sofa. You got seatbelts here, your blinds, it's your cute. balances. The balance is really cute. Yep. You See got that, your guys? cabinetry. You heard it right. I said the balance was really cute. Wow, and look at this, hidden hinge cabinetry wow. as well. That's pretty pretty unique right there. You know, I'm not a fan of the gloss, but I like the color. Oh, For some I think reason, it looks, it looks good. good in here. Oh, I think it looks good. And then kind of adjacent is your TV over here. This is a very interesting layout, Matt. Yes, and then look at this dinette. Um, There is some funky, no, never mind. Well, no, there's a lip. You might be able to make this into a bed. There might be like a shorter leg. I would never make this into a bed. This would be the last option. You'd do that. Well, you could dinette. because there's a lip right there and the table does yep. go down. Yep. Um, but this is a trifold, right? No. This oh, is a jackknife? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. that's a jackknife. Okay, interesting that they did that. Yep. Maybe because of over here. But again, here. this motorhome's not made to sleep a lot of people. But I do like the L I do shape. Too. It's just different. It's just different. It makes you feel kind of cozy, like you know you're in a restaurant or something with yeah. the way it sits and it looks like you do have storage under there right there very nice well Andrea it's now time for the MSRP burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $128,317 MSRP even though this is a 2021 we have it 30% off wow. to $89,999. That is a phenomenal price, especially with the new, new Ford V8 engine. But Andrea, regardless of that, I can always get you a little bit of a better price than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or Matt's RV reviews at gmail.com or check out my website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page down below. Andrea, let's continue the video. I want to comment real quick. I really like this handle. There's not a lot of times that, you know, I'll pick that out, but that's a great handle coming in the RV and I love that window above the door. Very nice. Okay, so here's the kitchen, guys. I like it. Um, got nice cabinetry here with adjustable shelves. Uh -huh. Very nice with the frosted look. Um, we got three drawers. Oh, they're hard to open again. One. One. Two. That's two. a big drawer. And then three. I am loving this back and side splash. It Very. Looks great. Andrea, new. It looks redesigned. great. Redesigned. And I think it does look fantastic, yes. especially with the cabinetry it color. It does. Like the gray tone look. What about that thing? It's interesting, actually. I think it's I think it's cute. I know, you know, it's it might be weird to some people, but I actually think it's cute. And what it does, it, do it gives you more countertop space. It for does sure. for sure. For so sure. you do have good counter space. We got a cabinet under here. Yes, well, ma'am. Very little amount of storage. Yes, ma'am. We got a. Is this a convection? Oh, this is just a nope. microwave. Regular microwave. That's a great size. Got a three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Uh huh. And we got an oven. Nice. Good size, Dometic, and another drawer under here. Very nice. Now, what's interesting about this is the refrigerator is right here. This is not a residential. No, but it's but a it's compressor. A compressor. Yep, compressor fridge. So 
That's nice. Nice. I like how they have the metallic look. And over here, Matt, look at that. Andrea, is that mirror Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's nice. Cool. Okay. Well, let's take out this bathroom. Yep. Okay. Same All thing. Right. Same thing as the years prior. Here's the shower. It's kind of a weird. It's kind of like an op, like one, two, three, four, five, six. What's six? Hexagon? Yeah. Octagon? No, octagon's eight. It's like a hexagon or whatever. It's a weird type of shape. Let me get shower. a good look at that. Yeah. But again, you know, you got to compare the shower to other 29 footers and it's a pretty nice shower. Got a fan up there, guys. Uh-huh. Look at this. Great size medicine cabinet. Very nice. Uh, look. Gosh, there's a lot of cabinetry in here. Adjustable shelves. Wow. Love that. Up here again, adjustable shelves, toilet paper holder, and you got the cabinet under the sink. Very so, nice. Nice bathroom. It's now time for the toilet right, test. Let me get over here into the shower. All right. All right, All right here, here we go. Here we go now. Good height, good elevation. Nice porcelain. Let's see you close the door. Nice porcelain on my bum. Andrea. It's a prime poop position. Bing. Almost fails with this holder here, but we probably would just good. put the toilet paper there. It's nice, it's porcelain. It's a prime poop position, especially in a small motorhome. That's pretty impressive. Four piece. Bing, bing. And you guys have a fan up there too. Yep. Into the bedroom. Into the bedroom we go. Okay, so you got a king size bed. Yep, king bed. It's kind of weird. It's kind of elevated high. I like the pocket door on the bedroom. Yep. We have windows in the back. Nice walkway around the bed, though. I like the headboard. Yep. Oh, and we wow. Got big that's big. Storage, big storage above. Very nice. And you got little reading lights and everything. Guys, here's then, the. Yep, place for your. You got a nightstand here. You got a radio and SUSB ports and wow look at this storage Andrea open that door oh look yep double closet very nice and then there is another thing you'd do right there thing you would do. and then what's it called what's it called it's called a nightstand nightstand and look <laughs> storage under the bed yes very nice and that's where and it has, the yep. table goes in the middle okay it has it. Yep. Look at this. I love TV all the light blind. here. Yep, very nice. This is interesting. Uh huh. The TV right there with your little uh, yeah. top. Yeah. You got your drawer. Four big drawers. Very wow. nice. Yeah, it is nice. Well, Andrea, as nice as it is, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we like about it. Okay. First, I'm gonna go first, and I'm sorry. First, I love the color scheme in here. I think it looks beautiful and fantastic. Andre doesn't like the gloss. I like the gray tone cabinetry, the gray tone furniture, and, and the gray tone backsplash going on in the kitchen. I really love it, and, and it just looks beautiful. So that's one, two. You know what, I'm gonna say, I really like the layout of this floor plan. Yes. Um, when you see with both seats there, with swivelly here, good and here, TV you've got placement, a perfect living room in a motorhome. And this is just so yes. unique; you won't find that in other motorhomes. You don't. So I think it's great. I, yep. I, I love and, it. And and Andrea, sit on that sofa. It is just one of the most comfortable oh, sofas. Oh, it is. Isn't it? Oh my gosh. And then number three is outside. And then all of my dislikes is outside. Okay. So let's shut her down. Go on outside, Andrea. <laughs> no, I think I just want to stay in here, Matt. I'm loving this blue. Blue looks great. So the third thing I love about this motorhome is the TV and the outside entertainment. The kitchen, the sink, the microwave, everything. This is really one of the most ultimate tailgater motorhomes. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about it. Bum, bum, bum. You ready? First thing I don't like. I do not like the side swinging door. I think it's stupid and weird. And I, isn't it weird? And I just see people breaking this and I'm just not a fan of that. It just kind of is what it is. So that's one. 
Now I'm gonna combo that one. I don't like the little twisty lock doors, you know? Number two, coming around the back. I'm not a fan of this. I do like yes, the bumper. I agree. But the separation from here to here, coming up wasn't was a problem. Dangerous. It, it wasn't going up, it was coming down. My foot was reaching for this and it just made it really difficult. Yes. So I didn't like two. that either. And then number three, this is your compartment door for a generator. And I think it's really stupid. I think it's just should just be a regular door with the handle so you can turn it on and off. This is a really silly design. And I said that in the 2019s, but I guess <laughs> they didn't fix that. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Andrea, thank you so much for coming to Tampa with us. Um, if you have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my cell number. Or you can check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where there is an official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact us page down um, on the website as well. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Fleetwood does read the comments, so we appreciate everybody's feedback. Um, also, you guys, if you have not hit that like button, please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. We thank you guys so much and we hope you're doing well. You guys are staying safe. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll see you next time.